Jordan is yet another flashpoint in the protests that have spread across the Arab world. And in the capital, Amman, dozens are injured as demonstrations are forcibly broken up. What future for a government that has just taken charge? And for the king who appointed it? This is Inside Story. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Mike Hanna. Jordanians seeking democratic reforms followed a model set in Egypt. On the 24th of this month, demonstrators set up a tent camp in Amman's Jamal Abdel Nasser roundabout, naming their movement after the date, March the 24th. The protesters said the sit-in would continue until their call for political change was met. But within 24 hours, clashes were underway at the tent camp as riot police and civilians identified as government supporters attacked the protesters. At least two people were killed and dozens injured. One of the demands being made is that the Prime Minister, Marouf al-Bakhit, resign. He's refused to do so, claiming the demonstrations are being orchestrated by the Muslim Brotherhood and its Jordanian offshoot, the Islamic Action Front. He said, We have convincing evidence that the Muslim Brotherhood were the organizers of the event, and I say to them now, stop playing with fire. It seems that they are receiving instructions from groups in Egypt and Syria. The demonstrations at this stage aimed largely at the government, not at the Hashemite monarch who appointed it. And King Abdullah has already initiated what he describes as a political reform process. On February the 1st, the king dismissed his cabinet and prime minister. A new government was formed a week later with 27 ministers, some of whom had been in the previous cabinet. The opposition Islamic Action Front declined an invitation to be part of the government, insisting it was new in name alone. In his 12 years on the throne, King Abdullah has changed his cabinet eight times, but this is the first time it's happened as a response to public pressure. The king has also announced substantial public subsidies for basic goods, including fuel, and an increase in the pay of civil servants. To discuss all of this, I'm joined by three guests from the Jordanian capital, Amman. Sabri Samira, he's a political analyst and leading member of the Muslim Brotherhood in Jordan. Adnan Hayajne, a professor of political science at Hashemite University. And Feras Mahedin, a Jordanian activist in the March the 24th movement. Welcome to you all. Let's begin with Sabri Samira. How real do you believe these reforms are? Well, first of all, I am speaking here not in behalf of the Muslim Brotherhood. I'm not an official uh, speaker on their behalf. I am a political analyst. Uh, what's happening now in Jordan? Jordanians want real democracy, want real political reforms. They went out to the streets in a peaceful uh, gathering on March 24th, asking the king to really follow what he's promising since 11 years. It has been a long time up until now, and the people are not seeing anything uh, on the ground of real democracy or real reform. So they wanted to voice their concerns. They asked specific demands about reforming the government, about redistributing the power uh, and uh, giving it back to the people, the source of all authorities, as the Jordanian constitution states. But unfortunately, the uh, few who are benefiting and controlling the political life in Jordan and benefiting economically because of that are not willing to give up their uh, domination on the political life in, uh, in Jordan. And that's why they used different techniques and tactics in order to attack the demonstrators, the peaceful demonstrators who were only voicing their demands and not trying to do any of the fabricated allegations by the government against them. They were there peaceful. Men, women, young, uh, uh, children, old people, uh, they did not disturb anything in the life. The traffic was moving uh, uh, normally. Everybody was going to his uh, work or his, to his house. But those who are from the uh, Mukhabarat, the intelligence agencies, came uh, uh, in a few numbers and started throwing stones on the peaceful demonstrators, trying to instigate them. Well, at this point, Sabri to... Samira, if I could just uh, go to Ferris Mahadin and ask you, first of all, the 
bandage that you are wearing, is this a result of what happened during the demonstration? Yes, uh, this is an injury. This is actually my second injury during these months. On the 18th of February, I had a severe injury in my head and a brain concussion. Uh, it was an attack on civilian armed civilian men, the same authority or the same uh, people who attacked us on, on, the, on the Abdel Nasser Square. Well, uh, Adnan Hayajna, if I may go to you and taking a look at what we are hearing here, uh, demonstrations said to be peaceful, broken up with extreme violence, it would appear. Why this degree of response to protest? Well, I think like, we have to be, I think, uh, frank and uh, very objective. Uh, the people have the right to express their views and their opinions in, in a peaceful manner. And uh, I think the government uh, did uh, to uh, prior to uh, to the event yesterday a very good job of uh, being tolerant uh, and really respecting the right of the people to express themselves. Uh, I think uh, there is movement and there's counter movements and a lot of people want change and they want political change and I think most of the changes are uh, uh, underway but I think the government uh, pace is uh, becoming uh, very slow and I think the letter from His Majesty the King about two days ago to the Prime Minister is move ahead get ahead of it uh, move faster and we have we cannot wait we don't have the luxury uh, of time there is a gap between uh, I think the people expectation uh, uh, the young people who are uh, want to see change very quick and uh, the government ability to uh, I think to deliver uh, that gap between expectation and the ability of the government as I think is causing some friction between the people uh, and the government uh, I think the government is doing its utmost but I think is influenced by uh, some uh, power centers who I think who wants to maintain the status quo and I think the demands are very clear uh, we as I speak as a, a professor as a Jordanian too we are as Jordanians are all united uh, we want political reform you want to fight corruption I think the young people want it the Muslim Brotherhood want it the late person in any village in any camp in, in any city here in Jordan we want the same thing but uh, people want it in a different speed than other people and um, I believe I think we have to have more wisdom uh, uh, Jordan is a pivotal state Jordan is very stable and uh, we always uh, view stability here in Jordan to be the capital uh, uh, of Jordan we do want uh, uh, I think any activity well let's miss, let's uh, ask Faras uh, uh, Mahadin if, if I may just interrupt you there uh, Sabri Samira let's ask you we heard there that there is a gap between what is being expected and what the government is doing do you think that this gap is acceptable are you well, asking for speed here the problem here, the problem in Jordan is that there are corruption, there are intelligence forces and security forces who are actually, there's a, there, 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 there is some domination on, on, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the right of self-expression, there is a domination on the political uh, decisions, there are domi dominations on the internal uh, affairs from these uh, forces, and there's a big need, a big need for change, and, and what we did in our peaceful demonstration is actually a chance for Jordan to restabilize to to uh, to, con to uh, because we focus on the national unity well, the national unity represent were represented in, in, in our uh, demonstration our gathering on Abdel Nasser Square well Sabri Samira the government we heard from the Prime Minister saying that outside forces are involved in stirring up these demonstrations your view of that opinion these are all fabrications uh, they are not actually uh, talking about the real issue. The real issue is democratic political reform, constitutional reform. It's not about having communications here or there. Everybody in this world has communications with every entity around the globe. The issue is the government cannot run away from its responsibilities. It should come up with a real constitutional political reform. The government uh, is not really doing anything of what the king wants. I, the government is not really doing anything of the Jordanian people want. What, what's happening, they are fabricating things. They are trying to take our attention to some uh, external things. The issue is not outside Jordan. It's about real democratic changes in Jordan. Well, also, I saw, it's not if about I just speed. may in interrupt you there for a moment, Sabri Samira, Adnan Hayajay uh, sh uh, shaking his head there. Why, why do you disagree with what's just been said? <laughs> 
Why I disagree? I think uh, I'm I'm not uh, presenting any of, uh, anybody's views here. I'm here being a professor of political science and talking about things the way they are and the way they should be. I agree with Firas and I agree with uh, uh, with Sabri that uh, there's corruption and uh, there is a need for political reform there is a need for constitutional changes and this is, should be done in a peaceful uh, manner and people should sit on the table and talk about it we cannot continue talking about it in the streets but people have the right to continue demonstration uh, demonstration in the street uh, they are free to do so uh, as long as they do not affect the freedom of other people as you know and uh, we are not speaking to the Jordanian audience we are speaking to the western audience who I think um, uh, who speaks English. Uh, people here in Jordan, there is a national community that were formed by the, gover uh, by the government, headed by the chairman of the Senate, representing, I think, most of the people here in Jordan, young male, female, Muslim brotherhood. Let's sit and talk about it. And as I was trying to say in the beginning, the answer to your question, uh, we believe in a peaceful, a gradual reform. Uh, I agree there is corruption. I agree uh, there is a need for political reform. But I also want people to have wisdom to not let other people intervene in Jordan. We always say as Jordini, Jordan has a very are, are you, it is are, are you, special are you, Adnan we, Hayadze, are you actually saying that there is outside interference? Is that the point you are making? Uh, I think that the people have, the, I think, different agendas and people, even from uh, some of the political uh, the, uh, the political center and some of the political e the elite, they want to maintain the status quo. They always have a theory that Israel will come here. This is uh, Jordan is Palestine and all of that. This is, I think, um, part of history. And I think we have to go back and sit down and talk with each other, talking uh, with each well, other. Well, Firas Mahadin, if, if I may manner. just go to, go to you here. We heard from Adnan Ahai. Ajne there, uh, the reference to the committee, a national dialogue committee. This body, some uh, 53 members, has over the last 24 hours lost a number of members who've resigned because of anger at what has been happening in recent days. Does this committee uh, serve your demand in terms of preventing and uh, pro providing a forum in which you can discuss reform? Well, first of all, uh, actually, first of all, we, we all agree that uh, what they did when they resigned is very, uh, very strong statement. We salute that uh, uh, position. But there is a problem in the, in, the, in the committee itself from the beginning. It's, it is the same idea, it's the same concept of ruling Jordan. This is a wrong concept. The government, the regime decided that these people represent Jordan. These people does not represent all of the Jordanians. Who said these people represent the Jordanian? The government said, the regime said. Well, there is a problem. They do not represent the Jordanian people. It's, it's somebody who decided. Uh, this is the, uh, the mentality. We're talking about a mindset of ruling, ruling Jordan. There is a problem in this mindset. What, what we did when we went down to the streets, we are giving the Jordanian regime uh, a chance to protect the country, to protect the king, to protect the throne, because there is a conspiracy, an Israeli conspiracy, and it has been it has been run by the intelligence, by the security forces, by driving the country to a, a, a big, a huge problem. Uh, they, they, they are driving us to uh, to and uh, they're provoking people on uh, on on, on, on uh, sectarian bases, on uh, on Jordanian Palestinian bases. What we did is we went down, we proved that we have a national unity, it's there, it's on the square, everybody is there. I am a leftist, I'm not an Islamist. There are Islamists, there are leftists, there are independent people, there are liberals. We gave the government a chance. We are saying to the king, we will protect you. We will protect the throne from the conspiracy because Jordan is under a big conspiracy. The government is misleading, the, the Jordanian people is misleading the international community by saying that we represent an uh, outside agenda. We represent a Jordanian agenda. We want to protect the country from the, from the conspiracy. This is what we are doing. Well, not I, like I would just say. like to go to Sabri Samira at this particular point and stick with that issue of the National Dialogue Committee. Um, that was a forum that's supposedly created to discuss reform. The Muslim Brotherhood, for example, boycotted it right from the beginning. Why this opposition to the forum purportedly uh, that was going to discuss reform? All political parties have been participating in many dialogues with the government. There were many experiments before. All of them, after one year or two years, they end up with a list of demands. And it is 
most of it are good but unfortunately nothing is being implemented so why do you go for a dialogue just for the sake of dialogue as Faraz said these people who were appointed to, the, to dialogue they represent very few uh, percentages of the Jordanian people you should find a mechanism which is to find the real representatives of the people you know, how did how did you know a P How did there, you know? is a there is a plenty of studies and uh, research and we uh, cannot we uh, can we cannot no uh, I, I, I don't want I, to I be can uh, tell you let, give, let, me, let me, me jump give in. me a chance give, give me a chance please we, give me a chance I, no I can way, prove my point we have okay, no way just, of representing who's, 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 6 million I didn't, people uh, I didn't, uh, 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 just let uh, Sabri Samira finish his point I, I have many objections to what we, you were saying. I did not interrupt you. I kept shaking my, he my, my head. So please don't interrupt me. Go you ahead, you had ahead, uh, plenty ahead. of time. I did not get uh, but a few All right, minutes, let's so get I, on with the point that you were minutes. making, Sabri Samira. Uh, so, continue your point. So uh, we know when uh, free elections is being run, uh, we see uh, gr big groups who would represent the, the, the Jordanians. It is not about uh, who heads this kind of uh, organization for uh, democracy or that. We are talking about real representation. Let's go back to grassroots, to people. Let's ask them to vote for re real re representatives based on free electoral law, not a law that only produces people who would represent the government and based on a free election that is not fabricated. Um, if not, I can uh, then go at this point, Sabri Samira, you made your point there, but to put that point to Adnan Hayajne, what we are hearing there is a call for an elected body rather than an appointed one. Why is this not possible? It is not, uh, it's not, that's not possible. Let me, uh, let me just uh, say the following. I'm a critical of the government. I'm a critical of the political recruitment of the government. I'm a critical of the forming of the committee. I'm a critical also of the Muslims of Brotherhood who were part of the government. They were members of the Senate from the Muslims of Brotherhood. They were ministers. Of, uh, yes, but if, we, if, if you could answer my, my question, Mr. Hayat uh, uh, why uh, can you uh, not have a, an elected committee rather than appointed one to discuss reform? What, uh, well, here you put me in a side to defend the government. I'm here to defend, I think, uh, and Jordan. And we all agree government. that defending Jordan, uh, uh, let well, me as, say as, that as we cannot As a political have, analyst, uh, as a political professor, let, do you think that it, it would be needed to have some kind of the, democratic process involved me, in this let, reform let discussion? Finish, please, please let me finish my point. I think the, the committee will decide on two important laws. One is the election law, and the other one is the political party. Once the committee is finished, these two laws will go to the parliament. The parliament will discuss them. It is an elected body, and people will elect the new parliament, the forthcoming parliament, upon these laws. People do not wait. They want everything to be done overnight. And I'm here uh, just to say that, wait. We need some time. The government needs to speed up its process. And I think the people have to be wise. We cannot solve our problem just by blaming the others and blaming the conspiracy theory that, as my friend uh, Firas mentioned. I think Firas has the right to be frustrated. Uh, uh, Sabri has the right to be frustrated. We had so many discussions over the, uh, the, the past years. And now time is to move uh, from words to deeds. And the government is responsible for that. And I think the, His Majesty the King was very clear in his letter, move ahead, get ahead of it, and get done with the, these uh, laws. And I think the government is, uh, uh, I think is doing its utmost, but it is very, very slow. And they need, I think, uh, to get, I think, new people, new ideas. And uh, this is, will take, will take some time. All right. Well, Ferhas Mahadin, would you like to pick up on that uh, particular issue that we just yes. heard? Yes, please, because uh, first of all, he's talking about conspiracy theory. Uh, Eldad uh, law what, uh, was voted in the uh, Israeli Knesset. We are not talking about uh, a theory. We are not talking about a theory. We are talking about a fact. There, it's a fact that the Israeli is conspiring on Jordan. They voted on that law. Eldad voted on that law. Barak voted on that law. We have to be precise on that manner. We have to be precise that the intelligence is driving the country to a civil war. We have seen them in their loyalty. Uh, are you suggesting, uh, I'm sorry, I've the, just got to the, clarify something here for us, Mahadin. Are you suggesting uh, that Israeli forces are operating through uh, forces within Jordan to create this type of crisis? Yes, yes, because yes, because the, because they are to, they are driving the country to 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 a civil war. We are we are in a crisis. You are talking about a forged. He's talking. If you want to talk about politics, we are talking about a forged 
parliament it has been yani this is clear this is a fact everybody knows and it has been proved by data we have data for forgery for our forged parliament we are talking about eldad that the, the, the voting was there everybody know it barack voted that uh, that palestine that jordan is palestine this is not a conspiracy theory well if i, I, I may if i may just put this to sabri samira if i may just put this to sabri samira this issue can, of can the conspiracy theory just one sentence just just one sentence. My advice to Firas, because of that, we have to be united and we should not give anybody opportunity to intervene in Jordan. So we should not let uh, uh, our demonstrations to affect the stability All right. Well, let's just Jordan. go to this Sabri Samira at this particular yeah, point. Me, uh, your your response to the me, conspiracy please, theory, Sabri Samira. Well, well, uh, uh, Dr. Adnan is always stating the fact what, that we should be objective and we should be wise and the people should be wise and we should uh, agree together to find a solution. Uh, we agree with that. But why is he doubting always the wisdom of the people? As the reference is, the standard is, is what the, uh, the Jordanian people ask him. Is it constitutional or, lo or not? Can they go out and express their opinions and gather to peacefully to ask for constitutional change or not? Why should we ask people to wait at home and until the government decides what to do? The government is manipulated by the intelligence agencies, by the security agencies, by the few of interest groups who are controlling everything in Jordan, who are corrupt. So if we leave it up to the government and just wait at home, nothing will change. And this will allow for the conspiracy thing that Firas was talking about. Israel, this is not, not, not a secret. Israel is always uh, trying to make problems to Jordan, to make it uh, get in a civil war or uh, not immunity or to fight each other based on origin bases, Palestinian and Jordanian. Well, Jordanians are here are all Jordanians. There is no Jordanian of one class or another. We are all equal Jordanians. I am originally from Jerusalem, from Palestine, but Jerusalem was part of Jordan. I, I'm, I'm so proud to be a Jordanian. And I ask my government and my army to help liberate Jerusalem and Hebron and all these cities that were occupied when Jordan was ruling because it is our country. It is West Bank or East well, Bank. This is, is our country. This, this, these are, are important points, but we need let, to get let, to let, something let, that I'd like to put to Firas Mahadeen at this particular it. stage. We are, we are here all united. People from Amman, Karak, Jarash, Tafile, everybody is a Jordanian of the same class of, of Jordanians who are from the West Bank origin. The issue, the issue of Jordanians unity has, has been well debated here, Sabri Samira. Let me go to, are, to Firas totally Mahatin united. at this particular want... point with a, a new question, yes. and that is that we have had criticism of the government, we've had criticism of the politicians. Where does the king stand in this? What role do you think the king should be playing at this point? Yes, we, we ask the king uh, to interfere. We ask the king to look at us and hear what we are saying. We are protecting the king. We want to protect the king. We want to protect the throne. We are telling the king that what is going on in Jordan, that the intelligence agencies are doing a very dangerous role in Jordan. They are provoking people in a way. We, we, we can see it. We have been looking at them. We have been looking, watching what they are doing on the streets, between the university students, on the internet, on the, 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 the there is uh, there, there, there is a conspiracy held by these agencies. We want the king to to make a, a to make a, a big step for us, for Jordan, and for himself. What we want is the resignation of uh, the prime minister, the, the resignation of the the head of the intelligence, the resignation of the head of the police force, of all of the security forces. They should be held into trial. They should be held into for investigation. We should save Jordan and protect it. This is, this is what we want uh, the king to do. Well, this is a debate that will be going on for a long time to come. Thank you so much to our guests, Sabri Samira, Adnan Hayajne, and Feras Mahadin. And thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of Inside Story. We welcome your comments and suggestions. Please email them to us at insidestory at aljazeera.net. I'm Mike Hanna. Goodbye for now.